Okay, this is semen retention day 209 or 210, I'm not sure. The hardest part, this is the hardest part in my life. Like right now, you're listening to this video and you can't assume that it's the hardest part of my life because... Obviously, I'm making a video. I have, like, a phone. You know, um, I'm in my, like, work truck or whatever. So, how could it be the hardest part? And it, it is the hardest part because um, things are looking promising for my future. Like, I've never been so close to... You know, uh, I've never been so close to financial freedom. Like, I've been in debt most of my life, and I'm finally getting to the point where I'm close to paying it off. I'm not saying tomorrow I'm going to pay it off, but I'm the closest I've ever been. And then... Like, I have a good job, like, that, you know, I'm able to live, prosper, and then, like, go out and stuff. I'm able to do all that stuff and eat, like, fairly well. So, the other thing is, um, I've never been so woke, and I've heard this term a lot, but I don't know if mine you know, is going to agree with what the definition is of woke, but like my consciousness is like more open, like I'm able to like see better running through this world, like like a lot of my life seemed just like to be a dream, and it, I'm finally like awake, right but it seems like I've woken up to like a one, a nightmare, two, an adventure, and three, the greatest, you know, time. I've woken up at the greatest time in my life, which also happens to be, like, the hardest part of my life, because, like, I'm starting to enjoy life, actually. Like, I don't have a partner or a girlfriend or anything like that, but, like, I have a goal to do five years semen retention. And I'm like, yes, I've almost uh, relapsed a couple times, but I'm on my journey, you know, to five years. I finally like decided, decided like, I'm gonna do it, you know. I've I've done semen retention in the past, even for a little over a year, but I never decided how long I was gonna do. This time I decided five years. I've also decided like, you know, what I'm gonna do with like, my investments and stuff, like, I'm finally, like, you know, getting to the point where, um, I'm not financially free or anything like that, but I'm getting to the point where, you know, I can almost get money to, like, work for me, like, I'm almost there, you know, to maybe starting, like, my own business, I'm, like, close, close to there, and then, you know, I'm almost done paying my debt off, you know. Um, it's still a lot, but it's the closest I've ever been, you know. I I owed, like, I think, like, half a million at one point in my life. Half a million dollars, U.S. And now I'm a little bit under 100000 that I owe. So, like, and that's including my car payment. So... Like, I'm so close. And, and and my, like, house paid me. So, like, I'm, like, so close. And, um, also, like, my son, like, family-wise, like, you know, I'm, like, you know, I'm enjoying time with, like, my son or whatever for the first time. He's 13 and, like... We play football and stuff, and I'm like, you know, I want to be there for him 
you know, till he's like, well, forever, but at least till he's 18, and then, like, if I'm not able to, like, keep a job or whatever, then, you know, I'd have to become, like, a bum or something, so, yeah, things are, like, the hardest for me right now, because the world is seeing me prosper, so it's attacking me, like, super hard, or whatever, and, um, I can't tell you guys how, but it's, like, physically, it's attacking me physically, mentally, and, um, not spiritually, even though, like, like, every day is, like, a miracle for me, because I, I live, like, you know, I live the greatest life, but at the same time, I live, like, the worst life. I guess it's the yin and yang, and, like, so I've seen, like, a lot of miracles, you know, days where I feel like I can't just, like, I can't go on, like, just, like, I manage a way to, you know, push through another day or whatever, but the days are getting, like, harder for me, and, like, I believe, you know, I believe in the miracles, but with my eyes, I'm seeing the days progressively get harder, so I'm like, you know, I'm just relying on miracles, and I'm like, what if, you know, miracles don't exist, you know, I mean, I've seen a lot of them up to this point in my life, but, you know, I'm scared that they they won't pull through, you know, for me, you know, when I most need them and stuff, and, like, I don't know, and, that's all, I guess. Thank you.